And Mr. Deba, I'll come back to you because Rolaka mentioned some, some things that, that are quite insightful looking at the supply chain and localized supply chain. And I guess I want to ask you as, as, as an architect that does quite, quite a lot of hotels and international chains, you know, looking at Marriott Hotel in, in Ikeja, for example, how did you, how were you able to think about from, uh, from the value chain in terms of the supply chain? How were you able to think about some of the sourcing and how did you, you know, how did you navigate this with the owners of, 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 the, of the hotel? Uh, yeah, thanks. One of the things we need to realize when we talk of hotels, there's a branded hotel. And these are the things, uh, these are really the upper end of the scale when you're working with people like uh, Sheraton or Hyatt or Marriott. Uh, their standards are international, which means that they have an obligation wherever they are going to develop to actually meet those international standards. Now, unfortunately, it does mean that uh, the preponderance of material that we actually use in developing these hotels tend to be imported. Now, I've been trying to get all kinds of uh, companies here to get into uh, manufacturing, into supplying locally and in fact one of the good things <laughs> if there are any about COVID is that it, it tended to uh, affect supply chains and it made localization of supply chains now uh, a very critical factor in in the survival of many businesses so we've been looking at with the help of the uh, operators looking at assisting local manufacturers to actually um, up their standards so that they can in fact supply some of our projects. For instance, um, when, for instance, we are being funded or part funded by the IFC, the IFC will provide a grant for actually hiring international um, supervisors who can come into factories here three months, six months, and assist the company in actually tooling up to produce the kind of products that we need and to the right quality. Um, we have companies here who, provide, who manufacture tiles. Unfortunately, they haven't got to the point where sufficient information is available to us. We need to know a lot of information about the specification and production of the tile. Um, these are things that have to be sustainable. The, the operator doesn't want to buy something which he's going to need to be placed within the next two, three years, okay? Um, it is just not sustainable. It doesn't help the, their bottom line. So it's important that they buy high quality. Secondly, the operators have international insurances, which have to cover anywhere where they are actually operating. Now, these insurances are extremely difficult to put in place because they demand a very high quality of installation. Um, projects like the Merit are a very difficult uh, um, supply element for many of our local manufacturers. For instance, we did a mock-up room there and a local man, um, manufacturer actually did the work for us, installed it for us uh, to a very high quality. I mean, we were very impressed. Um, it's actually the furniture arm of a rather large uh, uh, contracting firm in Nigeria you know, who, were, who are currently building a, Marriott, a Hyatt hotel for us. But when it came to actually rolling out Quite honestly, uh, their pricing was ridiculous. And why was it? They had to provide their own infrastructure, their own generators, their own water, their uh, everything. So this makes them uncompetitive when it comes to uh, looking at pricing from many of the big European or Dubai-based manufacturers. So cost is a major factor when it comes to implementing a lot of the sustainability uh, concepts that we want to do. But operators, uh, have taken sustainability very, very, very important. Um, first of all, we have to save energy. So all the buildings have building management systems, which means that uh, I'm sure most of you realize you go into your room, you slit your, your card into a little socket, and all of a sudden the lights come on. Uh, yeah, so we manage uh, energy usage in the building by integrating those kinds of technologies. Similarly, you'll find that in terms of consumption, using less paper. Uh, we have a um, possibility now where you check in by using your mobile phone. You enter your room by using your mobile phone. 
And these are technologies that just a few years ago were almost like science fiction, but today, most new branded hotels use these technologies. So um, when it comes to waste, same thing. Uh, it's not something we are all together familiar with in Nigeria, but segregating waste so that those waste that can be uh, obviously um, harnessed and used for other uh, things are separated from the usual uh, waste from kitchens and from guest rooms, etc. cetera. Um, water. Uh, usage. We separate uh, separate um, the water usage in all the guest rooms. Water that comes from basins and so on goes through a separate uh, pipe route and that water can be filtered and used for washing cars, washing uh, the uh, landscaped areas, um, watering the plants, etc. So the operators are very, very conscious then because hotels do use and consume a lot they have to be at the very forefront of the sustainability uh, issues. Um, how do we integrate this at the early stage of design? Well, um, for instance, all our buildings are very, very well insulated, something that uh, you don't often get in Nigeria. We insulate the walls, we insulate the roof. Uh, all our glazing tends to be double glazed. So, these are buildings that will naturally consume much less energy than the average um, office building or the average uh, residential apartment in, in Nigeria. Um, we do uh, heat harnessing from uh, chillers. So re heat recovery systems are things that we use almost automatically in our own uh, designs. Not something that most people uh, venture into, but for us, because of the scale of energy that we do use, it's something that has to be done. And in some cases, we harness enough energy that we don't even have to install boilers at all in the building. So these are things that I think that um, in the last few years anyway, the hospitality game has changed when it comes to hotel buildings. Um, the supply chain is important because uh, years back, um, Nigeria, we used to have lovely, lovely timbers. And we all know we have the mahoganies and uh, mahogany was being um, um, in, exported because of course our timbers are very valuable. We, we export hardwoods and hardwoods are extremely valuable abroad because of course in the Europe, they tend to use softwoods. Now we export so much that we're even running short of uh, woods to use here. I mean, I, I noticed that uh, Olaka was talking about um, initially importing wood from Bali. I, I had actually uh, taken on a visit to, to um, Lakowe Lakes and I was a little surprised when I saw Bali. I said, well, okay, we'll have to do something about that. Maybe some of our timbers from Nigeria have to replace this. But I'm glad to see that that is now being considered because I'm a very, very strong proponent of buying locally. Um, I mean, right now, I have agreed with two of the major operators that we will seek and find and assist as many local manufacturers as we can. Um, uh, we've got local manufacturers who are doing mock-up rooms for us right now in uh, some of our hotels. Um, we will assist them to get um, training, if they like. We will assist them to get personnel, okay? Um, we brought in a team of Spanish um, installers uh, a couple of years ago to train tilers here. They were here for about four weeks. The difference that it made in terms of our quality is unbelievable. It appears that many of our artisans here are not well trained. So you'll notice that some of our big contractors have now set up their own training schools. So I think there's, there's a growing uh, awareness that uh, local procurement is absolutely critical. And it's something that uh, even for sustaining uh, the development pipeline that we have uh, in hospitality, we're going to have to look at because the economics uh, don't justify importing everything any longer. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I think hospitality is doing well in terms of um, re-engineering themselves, um, lowering their carbon footprint. Um, one or two of our buildings now, uh, we've actually uh, registered for EDGE certification. 
Um, uh, we have a facilities company and they, of course, uh, the MD of that company has been certified now. And so edge certification is something we are pushing with many of our uh, clients. I think the game is on and I think there's a, a lot far greater awareness than there was three, four years ago that the sustainability game is for all of us. And uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to hear what Rilaka is saying with regard to Mixta because uh, you know, uh, when you have a big organization like that with uh, a very large footprint of uh, projects, it's absolutely critical these days that we've got to uh, we've got to understand what sustainability is all about.